Hey y'all, this is being recorded on Saturday. Go dogs. And you'll be seeing this starting Sunday morning. And we're gonna talk now on this video about the Sunday school lesson, which is about being certain of the truth. Now, of course, the ultimate truth of all truth is the word of God. The word of God refers to the Bible, but it also refers to Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life, and he is the word. Now, of course, people have all kinds of theories and opinions, and some will tell you the truth is relative, and maybe sometimes that's true. But there is ultimate truth that's always true, always the same, does not vary. This week we're continuing to look at 1 John, and today's lesson will begin in 1 John chapter 2, verse 18, and moving on from there. John mentions that these are the last days. And of course, that was a long time ago. We've actually been in the last days ever since Jesus came and went back to heaven. Now, the New Testament talks about the Antichrist, but they don't always call him that except in this book of the Bible. And John mentions that we know that Antichrist is coming. He will come shortly before the church is raptured. Now, in John's day, he said they already had Antichrist, these people who act against Christ, that they were already there. They've always been with us. They're here now. And John mentions that some of these antichrists used to be part of the church, but now we know that they were never really part of us. John says we have an unction, a driving, a inspiration from the Holy Spirit, so we know the truth. He says, I'm not writing to you because you don't know the truth. I'm writing to you so that you will recognize the lies because you are in the truth. Therefore, you recognize the lies that the anti-Christian people are putting out there. These liars, these antichrists, among other things, they deny that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the promised one, anointed one, savior of the world. They deny the father and the son. They may have some form of God theory, but it's not what is taught in the Bible. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father. Jesus said that no one comes to the Father except through him. And John says, let that truth that you have always heard from the beginning, let that abide in you. It means live in you, remain in you, continue in you. Continue in the Son, continue in the Father and inherit the promise of eternal life. No one else can give you that. And John says, I've written this letter to you because these antichrists, these liars, they're going to try to seduce you. So I'm writing to remind you of the truth. You know the truth, you won't be fooled by a lie. John goes on to say that you should continue to abide in Christ so that when he returns, you can stand before him in confidence and not be ashamed. You know that Jesus Christ is righteous. And those who are born again in Christ do righteous things. That is the truth. Action point number one. Examine your life. See if you really are standing for the truth, living for the truth in this age of lies. Number two, prioritize your life. Since we know that these days are the way they are and that time is short, are you really attending to the most important things? Finally, Invest your time.
in sharing the truth with someone who needs to hear it. Lord Jesus, help us to be for you and tell others about you when so many are against you. Help us to speak the truth when so many are speaking lies. Amen.